A friend Tracy and Joe are here, and what we wanted to talk about was, in some respects, quite a taboo subject of disability in law. Um, and we started talking, didn't we, about you know, kind of um, the, the, the problems and the, the, the sensitivity of it. So I don't know, Catherine, can you tell us the kind of um, the issues that you tend to get, and maybe some of the things that if people are looking and they've they, you know they've had someone approach them, what's the best way to kind of deal with it? I tend to be very upfront. Yeah. Like, one of the big things I find as a wheelchair user is actual physical access. Because some places they're just not very practical. You know, there'll be steps or really steep slopes in this parts around here at Goblin Coop where I'm just I'm not going there because it's mm. just not accessible. And try to, one of the big problems cause I'm involved in the committee of the, this club, trying to find venues that and sites that are actually physically accessible is um, a bit of a challenge because a lot of places tend to be quite old buildings and so on so there's obviously there's only so much you can do yeah, with yeah. that yeah um, and then you get kind of scout camps just imagine and yeah scout camps are actually pretty good yeah 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 because obviously they're set up for scouts with disabilities yes of course so i mean i suppose is it a stupid question to say look would you rather just be asked the the, the, di the direct question yeah what do you need and that depends, that varies from person to person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah each yeah. person has different needs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some of us can stand and walk a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other people can't. Yeah, yeah. Some of us can manoeuvre our own chairs, other people can't. Sure. And you've just, you've just got to ask the individual. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. And that's pretty critical, isn't it? Tracy, mm -hmm. I mean, what's your, what's your story? Uh, uh, well, to be honest, this is my first LARP event in a wheelchair. Right, OK. Um, to be honest, um, I've found it okay. I've got the help of other players to help me around, which yeah. is helpful. Yeah. Um, the building itself is quite accessible. Sure. Um, that's the dormitories and uh, what you call it, a tavern where, yeah, where yeah. the kitchen Cottage. is. Cottage, yeah, that's, that's quite accessible. I've not left that area right, okay. because I'm not used to using a wheelchair going down slopes and going up slopes. I can't manage it myself yeah. this time. Yeah. But, I'm you haven't built to. up the muscle. No, I'm, I'm hoping to next time. Yeah, 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 cool. Well, yeah. One of the big troubles also with large size getting around them is then, you know, they're not going to be tarmacked. So it's sure, not exactly sure. the most even of surfaces. And I'm this event I'm quite wary about going out, partly because it's going to be pretty muddy. Yeah, yeah. And I think, do you think that's kind of the, the issue that a lot of groups don't want to talk about? So they, it's not as if they don't want you know, any disability though, they just don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. Do you think yeah. that's kind of really the, the they, big issue? They need to be more aware that the disabled person would rather be asked than just assumed about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People yeah. may assume that we, we can't do anything just because we're in a, we're in a wheelchair or you've got a, a walking stick or you've got um, sunglasses on because the, sure. eye, the eyes... Um, I think organisers events, they need to be confident. I think sometimes people are a bit, oh, you know, I don't, I don't want to offend or upset someone so I don't so I'm not going to ask. It, they're better off asking what the person needs. So quite often people go to us who want to come to us who haven't. See, we, we could time this really, really well. I was going to ask Joe a question. <laughs> then just go back. <laughs> so Joe. <laughs> then he'll answer and he'll go, and that's the critical key. And then by that time it's all gone. <laughs> Bloody plane. <laughs> 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 no, I know. They're, they're so, so really. It's rude, I think. <laughs> they want to take off when we're interviewing. Are you considerate? Yeah, quite often. Yeah, they are dragons at the moment. Yeah, yeah. They're not planes, they're dragons. <laughs> quite often, a disabled person wanting to take part in that will hopefully go to the organisers and say, Look, I've got this disability, it affects me in this way. Do you think it's viable? What's the site like? But at the same time, people don't necessarily have the confidence to ask. Yeah, I think that's. I think you've hit them there on the head. I mean, and Joe, I mean, you, you've um, you obviously well, you're not new to laughing, as it were. How do how do you find it? I mean, is this is uh, is this uh, does it become very hard for you? Do you have to become very picky about the LARP events that you're prepared to go to? And um, you know, when you go there, then do you could you become quite protective? I suppose over 
you know, potential, because LARP combat can get quite intense, can't it? Yeah. Um, so I suppose, whereas the, 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 it's, it's always, not, I'm 44 now, the, the, the mind's willing, but the body's not quite there, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Ranged um, weapons can yeah. often be your friend if you're a wheelchair user. Because on a, quite a few occasions, because I crew sometimes play sometimes, and quite often if I'll crew, if I'm crewing, Gideon will set some, something, the guy who runs this yeah, club, yeah. club I, he will work things into it that I can do. So there was one day event we had where there was this bush that shot poison darts. So they just draped me in camo netting and gave me the Nerf gun and I shot them with the Nerf bullets. Marvellous. And it was fantastic. It was so much, I keep saying to him, can we have that planted again? Can we have that planted again? Or automated gun bush. turrets and yeah. so on. Meet, meet the human battering ram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I would, this is probably the place to point out Gideon and I originally met at a Tolkien festival where I got used as a battering ram against him in my wheelchair. <laughs> Much fair enough. As, um, a, as long as you're safe and you're confident. Yes, of course. Because yeah, yeah. you could potentially get someone just yeah. go, I'm just going into this. Yeah. And there, there has to be those parameters, must That has yeah. to be. Would you agree that has to be kind of. Like, yeah, there, there has to be a level of, of, of sort of safety in, in, involved. So when yeah, we're looking course. at sort of LARP events we're going to go to, and you do look at the site where it's being held, what yeah. the access is like, that you have to take that into consideration. Of course you do, yeah. We're trying to find a site at the moment for the fourth with... weekend of the year. Yeah, and and looking for places to, to, to hold it. And we've yeah, had a yeah. site suggested to us for the fourth weekend of this year, and. The guy told us that it was nice and accessible. As one of the, there's a guy we know who was sort of looking at the site, and I've since been in contact with, directly with the site, and they've gone. Actually, it's not very wheelchair friendly. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so the other thing as well is, is, is uh, bringing you and well, us coming to LARP events. I find mm. I sometimes find myself getting a little bit overprotective. Sure, sure. Because obviously, when people come up with arrows and ranged yeah, weaponry yeah, yeah. and they start firing, obviously I can get out of the way fairly rapidly you can't know, in one of these in a, in a wheelchair that that's not possible so i find myself sometimes becoming a little overprotective you become a shield i'm seeing a bit of a pattern here i don't think that's because you've been overprotective it's because quite frankly it's strategic it? yes. that's why you always die and you always survive that's yes. why you play a healer yeah. <laughs> yeah. but i suppose really i mean we shouldn't really put disability, you know, over this. There are so many sites out there that, you know, that really can accommodate this. And yeah. I think that's the, the thing. I think we've just got to try a little bit harder and open ourselves up as clubs, maybe, to 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 welcome people, to, to want to at least come in and have a, have a look at it. You know, because a lot of people, I'm sure, probably don't. And I think they don't because they feel that, you know, um, people have to so accommodate I'm, I'm recently in a wheelchair. Sure. But if I hadn't met, met Catherine before I was in the wheelchair, I wouldn't yeah. come to LARP. Sure. Because I actually I don't stopped believe... LARP because of my disability, yeah, I... and it wasn't until yeah. I met Gideon and a couple, a couple of others, and I was yeah. like, actually, I can do this. Yeah, yeah. You know, can't really get involved in combat in the same way. But on the issue of disability, I mean, so far we've talked about wheelchairs, but obviously there are other disabilities. Of course, so are, yeah, yeah. Vis you know, I've not got much experience with visual impairment, but I know enough about it to know that, you mm. know, there are, I'm sure there are things you can do that make. And also, there's. You know, it's interesting. We we tend to attract quite a few people on the autistic spectrum. I think geeks tend to be well. More autistics tend to be geeks, and geeks tend to be a bit more. Often tend tend to be more autistics in the geek circle, and thus more larpers. It's always with you with the original because obviously before you were in a wheelchair it was it, it was the crutches yeah. and in spending the time sort of taking sort of crutches and making them LARP safe. So yeah, yeah. Well, I think in the end we used pipe insulation yeah, foam yeah. and yeah. fabric tape just to so they looked more in, in keeping and yeah. it, they were safer. So if someone did run into them or trip on them, they, yeah. it they was were padded. Yeah. And that's another thing about combat and so on. You, know, you need the other people to be aware of where the chair is or where yeah, the crutches yeah. are mm. and so on because otherwise they could fall over you and they're more likely to get hurt than the person in the wheelchair. Yeah. Although having said that, a strategic crutch to the crop <laughs> uh, really it's could be uh, a very useful padded, weapon, I think. It was padded. In an ideal world, I would like to get this completely LARP safe and decorated and took the completely sure. in character. There have been a couple of times in the past I've looked at events and contacted them about 
wheelchairs and so mm. on and they go well it would have to be made up completely so it was fitted in perfectly within the world you can't just have a normal wheelchair yeah, yeah. with as it is it's not possible most no. of the time no, no. i mean no i'm not exactly on a big budget no no and i think it's fair it's a fair comment i mean you know look you look at armor and you look at weapons and most costume will cost a fortune. Yeah. All of a sudden, then, if you've got the prerequisites before you can even get yourself mm -hmm. dressed, then it's a, it's a bit of a problem. Well, I think I think we've kind of tackled this. I think what we've got to do is just encourage people to want to sell yeah. a piece, and you know that it, it's a, that it can be as very very diverse, and it can mm. cope with lots of different you know yeah. people. I, I hate words using the word disability though, because I think it puts people on a, a bit of a back foot. I don't yeah, like to say clubs that. Clubs need to clubs need to put out out to the public that yeah, yeah. disabled people are welcome. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I they need to do in the first yeah. place, because then there would be more people Encourage that who will go laughing. Mm. Yeah, I think one of the key things probably also be, you know, if you think, if the club thinks that, you know, we, you know, we're very welcome to disabled people, put it on your website, put it on mm -hmm. your Facebook page, and so say something like, you know, we're, you know we welcome all abilities. If you have any mm. particular needs and requirements, just please let us know. Yeah, please yeah. tell us what you need because yeah. sometimes, like I said earlier, people might be a bit reluctant to come forward. That's fine, yeah, yeah. Whereas if the club says, look, you know, we're open, just please do tell us Let's and we can accommodate. Yeah. And that should hopefully give people the confidence to say, actually, yes, I have this need. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Well, thank you very much, uh, all three of you. Uh, and then Rob, turn it off. <laughs> if you can. Yeah, if you have yeah.